Hi there, Simon from Airway Medical. I'm just going to run th uh, you through a little talk on how airway suction units work in hospitals and where the CAMZU backup device would, would come into play. Um, so if you look over here, what we've got is, is a primary suction unit. This is connected to a big vacuum generator somewhere in the bowels of the hospital and a pipeline feeds the vacuum, so the suck, back to the generator. This is, suction controller then, then controls that vacuum so it's safe to use on patients. The vacuum controller is connected up to a jar and this is a collection device for anything that, that's sucked from the airway from the patient. And here we've got Bert, a patient in a pre-ITU situation. So he's sat in HDU with coronavirus and he's got a whole bunch of sputum collecting in his airway that's incubating the virus and we need to clear that for him on a regular basis. If we don't, then he would probably end up in ITU and he'd be intubated and effectively be unconscious and, and you've heard about the ventilators and so on. He, he'd be on one of those. And the outcome for him could potentially be quite grave. Um, so what we're trying to do is, is prevent that happening. So we're providing airway suction on a regular basis to clear the sputum from this area, from the larynx upwards, um, to, to, to prevent the virus from incubating and, and, and multiplying in that area. If it does multiply, then it tends to get down in the chest cavity. And as you might know, it then becomes a solid mass inside the lungs, which is why people need to be put on very high amounts of oxygen and they need to be ventilated to, to assist the lungs to breathe because now the lung capacity is so much more reduced by having these, these lumps of very solid, um, effectively sputum, gathering in, in the airway. That's all great, but if this system fails for some reason, they need a backup. At the moment, what the clinicians do is, if they can't figure out what the problem is, and this poor guy is either choking to death or, or, or is in a, in a situation where the, he needs airway suction immediately, they've now got to run off and find an electric battery suction unit could be in a store cupboard it, it could be on a thing called a crash trolley or, or or it could be you know just just in a corridor somewhere so i'm going to rush off and find it i'm going to pretend uh, right just imagine so so i've been off somewhere else on the ward and i've come back now with the electric battery suction unit and here it is so, so this is a typical example you can see here it's got the same sort of collection device on it and to operate it i, I would turn this button here now, I've forgotten to plug this in, so it's not working. <laughs> what do I do now? Also, if it was working, if I flip this round, there's a connector missing off the back of here. Not immediately obvious. I don't know if you can see down here, there's a yellow tube connected to a grey connector on the back of the canister. It's missing on this one, so this device is rendered completely useless now. So, so they're stuck. You know, they, this is the backup and they've got nothing else. Now they've got to run off to another ward and find another one of these and hope that works. Where the CAMZU comes into play is, this, this is the CAMZU device here. This uses blow, so it's using um, medical grade air that's purified through a compressor that's blowing air towards the ward. Now every HDU already has this system in place. They have the pipeline in place, they have the outlets. This will plug directly into the outlet and it will sit pretty much as you see now, so very, very close to the primary suction controller. If this fails for some reason, the clinician would take the tube off there, pop it on there, and now they can use the backup system. Quick as that, just, just, just take the tube off there, put it on there, it's got a control knob, the same as here, it's got a gauge, the same as here, and it connects directly into the same system okay so, so so there's an indication of just how quickly now Bert can get his airway suction we can clear the bit of biscuit or whatever it is that's stuck in there or we can carry on with, with just the clinical need of, of clearing the airway of, of sputum and so on instead of messing about wandering off looking for an electric battery suction unit that isn't necessarily working